Howard Hart was a young child living in the Philippines with his parents when the Japanese invaded in 1941. They were taken into custody and initially interned at the Santo Tomas camp. Later, they were moved to the Los Baños internment camp. On February 23, 1945, paratroopers from the 11th Airborne Division arrived at Los Baños. At seven o'clock in the morning, DC-3, C-47s arrive overhead. Americans start jumping out, paratroopers. Guerrillas start opening fire on these guys. And at the same time, a whole bunch of Amtraks are clanking across Laguna Dubai because we had to be taken out right away because of the presence of a 10,000 man Japanese division all around the Los Baños area. So the timing on this had to be exquisitely perfect. And for once, everything worked. The Amtraks traveling at night with nothing but hand compasses made it 12 miles across Laguna Dubai in the absolute black darkness and hit the beach just as the paratroopers and the guerrillas had cleared the camp and trundled up into the camp and started loading prisoners on board and taking them back out and back into the water again, back to the American side. When the paratroopers arrived, many internees rushed into their barracks and hid in their little rooms. Paratroopers kept going from barracks to barracks saying, get out of here, you're allowed one little suitcase and get to the Amtraks. But people refused to leave their barracks. They didn't know what to do. So they started to burn down the barracks. And that was the only way they could chase the internees out. And then they rounded us all up. Hart and the other internees stood in wonder as the 11th Airborne landed at Los Baños. I remember my first view of an American soldier. We, we saw them coming out of the sky and all of a sudden there was a man standing in front of me, an American paratrooper, who had to be 35 feet tall and <laughs> just the biggest guy I've ever seen in my life. And, and everyone had the same reaction. And so they became the angels of Los Baños. A memorable encounter with a paratrooper stayed with Hart. A paratrooper picked me up and put me under his arm and started jogging me down. And it was a mile and a half or so to the beach. And he kept saying, I'm gonna take you home, kid. I'm gonna take you home. And My country saved my life, and I owed them a life back, pure and simple. And so I feel the debt has been paid. Feeling he owed his country a debt of gratitude, Hart applied for and was accepted into the Central Intelligence Agency in 1965. He was a major CIA operative in East Asia and Afghanistan during the 1970s and 80s.